originally proposed by James Madison in 1791, the Second Amendment was seen as a way to provide more power to the militia, now known as the National Guard. This amendment was created just after the Americans had beaten the British with guns and other arms. The amendment could give the people the power to fight back against a tyrannical federal government. We believe in stricter gun laws, limiting the kind of gun you may own or the accessories and enhancements you can purchase and add on to modify it. Um, you know, everybody always goes back to the to the Constitution. You know, granted, I know that, that our population has grown a hundredfold, whatever it is, a thousandfold since they started this back in 1776, but we still have a right to bear arms. Um, you know, with the recent shootings that have come out, I've had lots of people that have called me that want to get their concealed weapons license real quick, which is amazing because they think it's going to get taken away. Largely divorced from our current constitution uh, and how it's understood, the Supreme Court uh, in the Heller case said that the core right uh, protected by the Second Amendment was the right of self-defense, the right to have a functional firearm in your home. Uh, and indeed, if you think about uh, uh, civilian possession of firearms, um, uh, it is, uh, uh, the, the world is obviously vast different, uh, vastly different than it was in 1791. The framers were afraid of a standing army. We have a standing army uh, today. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, many people uh, who uh, support this sort of insurrectionist view of the Second Amendment were disappointed that the Supreme Court in its Heller decision in 2008 did not give voice to this more um, uh, anti-government view of the Second Amendment. We all have our opinions. And our opinions can be good or they can be bad. The one thing we are missing is the facts. The NRA pays money to protect gun rights even though they know they should be stricter. As of October 21st, 2017, the NRA had already paid $4.13 million on lobbying. Ronnie G. Barrett, an NRA board member, is known as the founder of Barrett Firearms Manufacturing. He is also known as the inventor of the .50 caliber round sniper rifle, which can penetrate armor from over 4,500 feet. This sniper would later be used by the U.S. military. Surprisingly, the gun is available for civilian use and purchase. I tell them basically that the Constitution does allow us to have, it does give us the right to own guns. However, what a lot of students don't realize is that um, the Constitution does not prohibit any restrictions placed on guns. or any other devices pertain to the gun. Like the Vegas shooting, where at least 12 of the 23 firearms found in Las Vegas were semi-automatic rifles, legally modified with a bump fire stock. These guns were used to kill 58 people and injure many more. Um, well, first off, as being a law enforcement officer, uh, it's not my job to write the laws. I only enforce the laws. And with that, we have what we call the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Um, the letter of the law is, is just that. We follow it verbatim, exactly what it says. And then spirit of the law, it gives us discretion to kind of look at the bigger picture and the totality of circumstances and, and make a decision based off all of that. Um, as far as the Second Amendment, in that it talks about uh, it, what the history of it was after we seceded from Great Britain, so it was after a war of, of a tyranny. So they put in there, the founding fathers put in there that we should have a well regulated militia, uh, armed militia, to prevent any further tyranny uh, that we just freed ourselves from. And then also it put in there that uh, the people of the state or the country should be able to bear arms and that should not be a fringe. So you have both arm, have an armed militia and also that the free people should be able to bear arms um, and the government should not mess with that. And we have that today. We have the, the active duty uh, military. We have the National Guard. We have armed police, um, state police, things like that, and then we also have individual citizens.
citizens who are able to bear arms with um, concealed weapons permits, other permits, hunting license, things like that.